Welcome to USA Global TV and Radio, where our mission is to provide education, entertainment, hope, and inspiration. USA Global TV and Radio connects you with experts and audiences all around the world every single day to help you succeed in business and to live a richer life. Visit us at usaglobaltv.com to learn about career and life-changing training and mentoring programs like The Listening Mentor. Subscribe to our newsletter to stay informed about our special programs and offers. Discover how you can become a guest on one of our shows or a host or producer of a USA Global TV and radio show of your very own. That's USA Global TV and radio, where the doctor is always in. And welcome to USA Global TV and Radio. I'm with Justin Marigliani, and our show today is Take Steps and Kick IBD. What are we talking about here, Justin? What a day that is. The Take Steps event is just amazing. We're going to be at Lincoln Financial Field again and get a chance to uh, meet a lot of great people and have a lot of fun and raise a lot of money to try to help those with Crohn's and colitis. And you know what, Justin, we know all about that, don't we? Because we both have been patients for a long time and we're involved with the foundation. You have your own charity. Tell us about that. Yeah, it's Checkmates Charitable Association. We do a, uh, until COVID hit, we were doing a yearly game, an NHL celebrity alumni game with some NHL players playing with some of the guys like me who wish we were NHL players. And we raise money and part of the proceeds go to the Crohn's Colitis Foundation. The other part goes to the uh Awesome Association of America, and uh, that's that's really uh, what our our flagship event is is the uh, NHL alumni game. Uh, we're thinking about doing one in 2024, and we're also uh, going to probably have a comedy night uh, maybe at the end of this year with some uh, local comics. So uh, you can check us out at www.checkmatescharity.com, and if you want more information from me. My uh, email is justin at checkmatescharity.com. Thanks so much, Justin. Well, I'm really looking forward to broadcasting live from the Take Steps event 2023, June 25th. As you mentioned, Lincoln Financial Field, home of the Philadelphia Eagles. They have been almost the world champion Philadelphia Eagles. (laughs) Almost, almost. Amazing. And yeah, we have a special guest backstage. I'm going to bring her out momentarily. I just want people to know that if you're in the Philadelphia, Pennsylvania area in the United States of America, because we do have a global audience, we would love for you to join our team. We'd love for you to take the trip in to join us because it's yeah. definitely going to be a ton of fun, especially since we're going to be broadcasting live. And you also get to tour the Eagles locker room and what a special experience that is. That that was neat. We did that last year, and it was just incredible. Uh, so many people who couldn't even imagine having that opportunity got the chance to do that. It was it was cool. Definitely worthwhile. So the Crohn's yeah. Colitis Foundation of Philadelphia, Delaware chapter really changed my life. The people there are absolutely amazing, especially Dawn Halsey. She is a true gem, as well as Emily and Lucille and Paul and and our special guests backstage. So I want to bring out Melanie Zitnitsky. She is a senior manager of fundraising campaigns and volunteer engagement. Let's welcome her to the show. Hello. Hi, Melanie. I'm so happy to be here. So nice to have you here. here. And thank you for the work that you do. You know, people don't understand that fundraising is such a key component for any charity. And it can be exhausting because you're constantly asking people for money or you're asking people to volunteer. (laughs) And yet it's so needed and so worthwhile. Tell us how and why you got involved with the Crohn's Colitis Foundation. Sure. So I have my degree in social work um, and I always compare kind of fundraising actually to sales. So every company needs sales in order to raise revenue to do the great work that they're doing um, for profit. And in the nonprofit world, fundraisers are those same people. Um, So the nice thing is, is that we're asking people to do something that um, typically means a lot to them. Um, So that's the one nice added benefit that we get um, over 
people in sales sometimes, um, but it is, you know, probably one of the more rewarding things to be able to do something you care about and love, um, but also bring other people in to get involved with it too. Fantastic. Thank you for sharing that. Um, I have another question. We'll go to Justin. So I understand that you also have a personal connection to the mission and vision of the Crohn's Colitis Foundation. Would you like to share more about that? Sure. So I was actually diagnosed with Crohn's disease, disease at age 12. Um, I am one of four siblings and three of us have IBD. Um, and something that's kind of the theme of Take Steps this year is all about your journey and how everybody's journey looks different. Even within the same family, that journey looks different. You know, the fact that my sister went through diagnosis got me diagnosed quicker. Um, so I had benefited a lot from the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation as a child. I went to their Camp Oasis, um, and that really made me so much more comfortable talking about my IBD. And with that, I really learned the power in that, um, how sharing your story really, um, it makes other people brave enough to do it too. Um, and if I can help anyone who reaches out just because they know that I have IBD navigate something that was harder for me, you know, that, that's one of the best things about sharing your story. And I really appreciate what you are doing here by inviting people to share their stories because there's so much power in that. Absolutely. Thank you. Justin. Yeah, it's just, it, it, it's great that people like you are willing to talk mm -hmm. about it. I know a lot of people think that it's just a bathroom disease and it's so much, much more than that. 20 years ago today, I was in the hospital with uh, kidney stones, and it was the first time that I really was ever in a hospital for more than a, a you know just an emergency room trip, and that was due to ulcerative colitis. I had severe dehydration that led to kidney stones, and you know um, it's amazing what you can think about and, and know exactly where you are. And, and I look back, and 20 years ago, exactly at this time, I was laying in a hospital bed with IVs and. And uh, little did I know that I would be back in the hospital within a couple of weeks, even in worse condition. But you know how bad it can be. It could just be mm -hmm. so draining and, and it could affect your life in so many different ways and just being a problem with the bathroom. Oh, absolutely. Um, yeah, you, you know, I think that's what surprises people most is that they think it's one thing when it's a multitude of things. Um, you know, I personally... And for everyone, it's different. I personally have like joint issues. Um, and, you know, some people have nutrition issues while other people don't have those issues. It's, it's very um, fascinating, the range of symptoms that actually make up these diseases. Um, but you're right. I think that people just consider them a bathroom disease. And that adds to kind of the stigma of not wanting to talk about it or not wanting someone to comment on your food choices or any of those things. And um, any any different phase of life. I also do that same math very often, you know, at my, on my birthday, I'm like, okay, it's been 21 years, 22 years, 20, you know, since my diagnosis. And it's, it's wild to think that, you know, that just keeps growing and it's become more of my life now than it wasn't. Um, and that was, that was an interesting milestone to hit too. Yeah. Thanks for sharing that. I can completely relate to it. And I host this support group and we had a meeting recently and someone shared with me, a patient, that this person is in remission and they've been in remission for a number of years, but they wanted to be part of the support group because every time they leave the house, they're still wondering, is today the day that I'm going to have a relapse? And it's really getting into this person's head. And when you've been through what we've been through, what we go through when you lose control of yourself in public, it is something that really impacts you. So I feel like we have all these wonderful treatments that are out there that we have so much more than when I was diagnosed 32 mm -hmm. or three years ago, yet we still have the mental shame and fear and humiliation that comes along with these diseases. At least I do. And the people that I've met from the support group, they feel the same way. I agree. And I think that's, you know, why the mission of our organization is so two pronged, you know, it's to improve the quality of life in children 
and adults with IBD um, who are affected by these diseases, but also to cure Crohn's disease and uh, ulcerative colitis. So that research and those medications that have, those have improved the lives of patients so much in the past um, 25 years, 30 years, you know, um, treatment has come a long way and we all ultimately want that cure. Um, but I think what you're saying is really telling. It's like this fear that you live in every day of, you know, when, when will my future get stolen from me the way some of my past was? Um, and instead, we want to flip that conversation around IBD and have a day where we celebrate the amazing community that we're, you know, we're all connected through something that we all wish we weren't experiencing, but um, it does connect us in such a unique way. And I think everyone has found, I can't speak for everyone, but I can speak for myself, that I have found so much value in my experiences with IBD, even with all of the negative stuff, it's helped me grow so much as a person. It's helped me focus around, you know, my family and what's important, um, but also celebrating that really unique bond that we all have by understanding what each other goes through. I think you hit the nail on the head. It's that when you get to the stadium, you see all the people and you see the age ranges of the people and you mm -hmm. see yourself, oh my gosh, I'm not alone. Somebody else can understand how I feel. I also feel just so upset when I see how young people are getting diagnosed. And even people yeah. who are in the in later stages of their life when they never had to deal with this. And now it's a, it's a problem. So the work that you and your team are doing is absolutely phenomenal. Can you walk us through, Melanie? We have the website up, but can you share with us what are some of the things that take place at this event? Sure. Um, so that's what I'm most excited to talk about because this is a day, it's a festival of fun um, that, you know, I bring new people every year and every year they're saying, what's the date of the next event? And that's because it is so fun. Um, not only are you going to have the chance to interact with doctors and um, our great sponsors who are doing our outstanding work in the fields of IBD research um, and just doing a lot of things to support patients in different ways, um, whether that's they're in their regular life or their IBD life. Um, but you will see people on stilts. You will see a 360 photo booth on the field. We're trying to make it a party on the field this year, all with some brand new um, experiences for those who have been before as well. So uh, this year, there's going to be a new ribbon ceremony that really unites us all in kind of the experience we're going through, our journey we're on together. So we're journeying to Mount Remission on June 25th at the link. And, um, you know, it's there's going to be characters for kids, a whole area devoted to kids and all those fun activities. Teams that raise $5,000 or more are going to be able to get that tour of the locker room. Um, and Swoop will be there, the Eagles mascot. So we'll have fun for all. Um, nobody has ever left that event that I know of thinking that there wasn't something for them at the event. So um, it's really something for all ages. And it's just exciting to be at the link, you know, especially following such an incredible season. Absolutely. And by the way, I happen to have this right here in my studio. Here you go. Go register your team. Yeah, journey. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. And I like it. We are proud to be sponsors and to be live at the event we'll be broadcasting from there so we had so much fun doing it last year the weather yeah. was a little a little dicey wasn't it justin it was early on right and then then all of a sudden the, the clouds cleared and yeah <laughs> yeah it sure it has a way to do that on event day yeah. <laughs> yeah for sure i want to go ahead and share the website and then just um have you melanie walk us through Absolutely. what we need to to do to get involved so here we are at take steps dot Crohn's colitis foundation.org. And we'll put this into the chat. So where should I go while I'm here? So the first thing you should do, and I just want to reiterate, the event is rain or shine. We do have coverage and a full backup plan should it rain. There's plenty of room under the concourse to have a party at the link. But uh, the first thing you should do is go to find an event on the top, right? Okay. And then you can enter your zip code or any zip code, you can use our foundation address 19004 or search Philadelphia. And there you go. So hit Philadelphia Take Steps. Yep. There it is. 
And there is that big register now button. And that is where you would get started. Um, so this event is free to attend. You know, everyone who joins your team will get a unique fundraising page um, that you can share to invite others to support you as you take steps for cures for Crohn's and colitis um, and to improve the lives of patients living with IBD. Um, you can find all of the event detail. I would want to highlight that we have a great honorees page. Um, so right over there. Um, and if you're curious about those fundraising awards, like that tour of the link, there's lots of different levels. Um, so you can explore that great page too. But these are all of our honored heroes this year. We have an incredible lineup of really inspiring people doing a lot of amazing, amazing work um, with the foundation. Ryan is just incredible. He is a board member um, and he has added so much to take steps over the years. We have the gears, um, Jackie and Liam. Jackie is a patient and so is her son. And she got that devastating news that I hope I never get one day with my kids. But if I do, we both know that we're the most equipped to handle it, that her son also had the same disease she was diagnosed with. Um, and we'll keep adding to this. You can read more about their stories. We're so excited to be honoring um, Dr. Adam Ehrlich, who is part of the Temple Health IBD program and doing incredible work there to help patients. Um, we have Dawn Timoney, our honored media uh, honoree, and um, she's getting the word out, you know, just like all of us to try and spread the word about IBD and that it's not something you need to hide behind and you can come celebrate with us. And of course, our patient advocate, Donna McGee, um, she is an infusion nurse um, and she's celebrating her 25th year as a nurse this year. So definitely come out and meet Donna. And we have a few more honorees that we'll be announcing over the next few weeks. Um, but we are so excited to have such an incredible group of honorees this year. Um, and this is the fundraising reward page. You can see our new shirts. Every patient gets a shirt, of course, and anyone who raises a hundred dollars or more will get a shirt. Um, so definitely read in detail. If you have any questions about this, of course, you can reach out to me. I think my contact information is floating under the screen there. Um, but definitely register, bring some friends, create a team. I promise it won't be an event that you will be sad um, to, you would be sad if you missed it. So it, you definitely want to be a part of it. We're always looking to welcome our new teams into our community. And that's truly what it is, a community. So exciting. Now, Dawn, if somebody wants to, Dawn, Melanie, if somebody, wants to, <laughs> sorry, if somebody wants to do the tour of the Eagles locker room, how much do they have to raise? So the whole team together collectively would raise $5,000. Um, so it's something to strive for. If you think that sounds unreasonable, it's not. Um, Don and I are happy to work with you and Lucille or anyone on our team to help you come up with ideas and strategies to get to that top team um, goal. Um, so we know you can do it. You can do it. You have a story to tell and an inspiring one. Um, and we're here to help you do it. Thank you. And one of the questions that people ask all the time, whether it's this charity or some other, is how much of every dollar actually goes to research and development? Sure. So um, over 80 cents of every dollar given to the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation supports our mission. So our mission is two-pronged. It is to cure Crohn's disease and colitis, ulcerative colitis, and also to improve the quality of life of people affected by these diseases. So we take both of those as equal partners. Um, so over 80 cents of every dollar that you give to the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation goes to directly to helping people affected by these diseases. You know what I think is really fascinating based on the honorees that you have and some additional information that I've had from support group members. We've had a number of people come onto this platform to share a question, which is how much of your longevity is related to your genes? What would you say out of a hundred percent is related to your genes? Your genes. I like that question. Um, I don't know. I was like, I, sometimes I'm like, I defeat the odds anytime I get sick. So I was just like, you know what, what you, you never realize what you can't handle. Right. And then you're thrown into a difficult situation. Um, and I like to think that the choices we make to show up every day affects our longevity. You've got it. You hit the nail on the head. Before I give the answer, Justin, do you want to guess a percentage from 
One to 100. I'll say 60%. Okay. And Melanie, would you like to guess? Uh, so this is like a, your how genes. many people think this way? Or how no, no, no. What the, the percentage truth. of your longevity is based on your genes, your genetics? I'm going 15. Okay. Good guesses by both of you. I was actually shocked that the people who've been here as experts, this is what they've said, it's four to 5%. And the rest is based wow. on your lifestyle choices. So it's so fascinating to me that we just saw a, a couple of instances where it's genetic. Yeah. Well, they de we definitely believe that there is some, some sort of genetic component, but there's so many scenarios where you nobody knows they've never heard of the disease um, I read so many of these patient stories and it's so fascinating how many of them say I've never heard of Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis until you know someone um so you know people have been involved with us for a long time you know they'll be like I got involved because I didn't I didn't really have a mission connection I was invited by someone but I was like you've now been coming to our event for the past 10 years I think you have one now um you know so every person you meet kind of impacts your your the path you take in life um and i think every challenge you face it's the same i think sometimes people throw around the term especially colitis yeah you know, i've heard of people who have you know chronic diarrhea and they say oh i have colitis it it's that's not the only thing that is a determining factor if you have you actually have to have inflammation of the colon for there to be colitis so you know i think sometimes people just look at oh i have diarrhea i must have colitis it's much much more than that and that's i think a lot of people don't get that yeah i mean it's the same thing with ibs and ibd i think the similar right. similar mm -hmm. um you know they're like irritable bowel i was like well one's inflammatory <laughs> yeah. uh, you know so i think that sometimes that misinformation can spread in a variety of ways. And I, I truly like to believe that it's just someone's way of trying to connect when they say that. Sure. Um, and, but you can't, you know, devalue how a patient hears that knowing what they're going through. Um, you know, it's, it's a different struggle when you need immunocompromising drugs every six weeks, every four weeks, every two weeks, um, when you're in and out of the hospital, when you're free to leave the house because you don't know what's going to happen. Um, you know, I think that's something we already talked about on this. Um, so I, I agree. I think that can be a challenging part of being a patient. Um, and I think that's where we come in and we try to educate people um, about what these diseases really feel like. And that's why bringing so many people to this event, whether they have IBD or not, is so important because it raises that awareness that, they're going to learn something at our event and they're not going to say that the next time because they're going to know the difference. And that's, that's, that's the value of that. Yeah, Power very sharing. Special. yeah. And Melanie in years past, I know there's been a big uh, opening ceremony. Will that be the case this year? Absolutely. We're so excited to have some new updates for the opening ceremony. Um, so I think I already teased that we're going to have a uniting ceremony. It's going to be with ribbons, kind of bringing everyone together in kind of a powerful moment that I think we haven't done in the ceremonies in the past. Um, we always have the fun. We always share um, our, you know, our honorees share, share so much of themselves in those ceremonies. But with 3,000 people, sometimes it's hard to connect everyone to the same thing. And I think the ceremony is going to leave people really feeling connected to why we're all there that day. So important. And to the point you made earlier, I remember last year speaking to some people who did not have the disease, but they knew of someone and they've come every year, year after year. Mm -hmm. It's also a great opportunity to network. I hate to say that, but it is. There's sure. some huge sponsors, major corporations that are backers for um, for giving donations. Can you talk more about that? Absolutely. So we are so grateful to have um, a very wide range of sponsors. Um, and our corporate partners are our true corporate partners. We value everything they add to our IBD community all year long. Um, but, you know, they were just as excited to be there and speak to patients and caregivers. And I think that that power, you know, is, is, is really shared both ways because 
there's so much that they get to learn from our patients and our caregivers and our community and our doctors that are there, you know, all of our major health systems. Um, we want everyone in celebrating our community with us. So if you're interested, no matter what your um, company does, I promise you there's a place for you at Take Steps. Um, and we're happy to talk about what that is. So definitely reach out to me. My contact information is below. Um, the incredible Don Halsey is also more than happy to talk to you about it. And we'll be actually hosting a corporate kickoff. So if you want to come meet some of our corporate sponsors and corporate partners who are already engaged with us, hear from some really incredible speakers on April 20th at the Union League of Philadelphia, we'll be hosting um, Brian Margolis and Phil Edelstein uh, to talk about ways that you can kind of grow your own business. And we'll be speaking a little bit about how you can include giving back in your planning um, and how that adds value to your business as well. So come get excited about Take Steps with us, and um, we would love to talk to you more about how we can include your business in Take Steps. Sounds like a fabulous event in April. Yeah. A question I have for you as we come to the end of our show, I think it's really important. I've heard this before from people. I wanted to donate, but I was embarrassed because I can only give a small amount of money. And I say any mm -hmm. amount of money is important. What do you have to say to that, Melanie? So what I have to say to that is that we hope to get our Philadelphia Take Steps, which is the number one Take Steps in the country, to a million dollars. And we are not going to do that with one big gift from one person. We need all of us to commit to our mission of curing Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis and improving the lives of patients. Um, the way we do that is that we all come together and we all give a little bit more than we think we can. Because the, going that little bit extra is always what makes the difference in life. Like that's everything I take out of everything. You know, if you see an opportunity where you can do just a little bit more for someone else, it's not only going to improve your life, but it's going to improve our community altogether. So um, it doesn't matter big or small. Um, we, wa we want you to know that you are having an impact regardless of how much you can give because it's true. And whether you want to volunteer you know, we, we always need volunteers at this event. We have a small but mighty staff. Um, but form a team. I think you are, you would be surprised that how many people show up to support you when you are going through something or when you know someone who went through something. And we've been talking about sharing your story and just being willing to put yourself out there is a huge step. Um, being able to give is a huge step and we appreciate it. And we are going to get to that goal because our entire community comes together regardless of where they come from in life. And they gave a little bit to something that they cared about. Could you imagine if you got 10,000 people, that's not a lot of people. If you think about Philadelphia and the surrounding area, if 10,000 people gave $5 a piece, five, just $5, it'd be $50,000. I know. It's, it's and amazing. even if you're just forming a team, you know, You'd be surprised that if you ask 10 people and they each give that much, how, how quickly that adds up when we're all working towards that common goal. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Melanie, I want to ask you just uh, another question. I want to go back to the website and I hope I'm not putting you on the spot because I would, love, I would love for people to be able to go to this website and sign up for our team, Dr. Jacqueline's Kaleidas Crew. How can they do this? Okay. So we're going to go back to that find event. Okay. And we're going to find Philadelphia. We're going to click on that one. And I believe that if you hit register now, you can search for a team. There you go. So if you're new, so this is, we, we can also show you how to get to your direct page because I think that might be easier now. Yes. Just hit that back button. Okay. We're going to search for a team instead. Justin, I drive them crazy at the foundation. Like, I can't find my <laughs> link. I can't find. <laughs> so we're going to scroll down. It is a new website. So, okay. you know, <laughs> we're all getting used to it. Yeah. Okay. So takes time. Keep scrolling down. Join us now. There we go. And let's scroll on down a little bit more. And once you get to top teens and you hit view more. 
top teams. Okay, we're not there yet, Justin. We're not there, we'll get there. but we'll, we'll get, get there. there. Then you can search a team. So you are Dr. Jacqueline's Kaleidos crew, but there was actually a search field at the top. This is helpful for me as well. So thank you. I think that's a good tutorial, yeah. Okay. Yay! There you are. There we are. are. So okay. you can hit join our team or support us. Um, and from there, you're good to go. You'll be taken through the registration process. I do believe that if you just went to register now, you would have the op option to join an existing team and search as well. Um, but this, I think, was a, a quicker way to get to the page. <laughs> Fabulous. Thank you. And thank you, Justin, for your generosity and your donation. I really do appreciate it. It's my pleasure. My pleasure. As always, want to support what a great organization to support. So thank you. Well, thank you guys. And Dr. Jacqueline is turning 60 this year. So in honor of her That's 60th right. birthday, uh, make sure you start support Dr. Jacqueline's Kaleidos crew. <laughs> I have it on my email signature. I've posted it on my social media. So it's funny because people say, oh, I saw that you're turning 60. And I say, where do you see it? Oh, I saw, you know, you're raising money for the Crohn's Kaleidos Foundation. Like, did you donate? Oh, I didn't know I was supposed to. Hello. And that's how you I know. And that's yeah. how you fundraise. It's not that hard. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Melanie, it's been an absolute pleasure having you here. I yes. really appreciate you and, and thank you for everything that you're doing. We have your banner, but for people who are on a radio station or a podcast platform or they can't read the banner, what is the best way to contact you? So you can call or text my cell number. It's 646-640-6932. Um, you can also email me. The easiest way would be to read it off of the screen. But it's mzitnitsky, M-Z-H-I-T-N-I-T-S-K-Y at Crohn'sColitisFoundation.org. And we love chatting with new people. So definitely give us a call and get involved. We'll find a great place for you. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Justin, how would you like people to contact you and get involved with the work that you're doing? Sure. You can contact me at my cell number 610-324-5545 or justin at checkmatescharity.com. And we do support Checkmates does support the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation along with the United Ostomy Association of America. So, uh, some of the proceeds that we receive from our events do go to the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation as well. So we're always looking to support a really wonderful group of people. All right. Thank you. And we would love to have you join our team, Dr. Jacqueline's Colitis crew, or start your own team. That's okay. It doesn't yes. have to be this yes. team. It could be any team. You're just, it's such an incredible experience that you will be so grateful that you went, whether you're a patient or not. It's just about community. It just takes two. So grab a friend and come on down to the link on June 25th. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. All That's right. Great. Thank you both for being here. And thank you to our audience who's watching live or on the replay. We really do appreciate you. We look forward to hearing from you. Bye, Bye for right. now. Bye, everybody. Bye.